Hey guys, what's going on? So what you are looking at right now is footage filmed with the ASUS Zenfone 6 and it's being stabilized with the Zion Smooth Q2 and I believe that this footage right here or in this setup is probably the most convenient that you can come up with uh, for a variety of reasons. So you have a really really good quality camera simply because the Zenfone 6 allows you to flip the camera from the back to the front so you have 4k 60 frames per second recording uh, you can do 4k 30 1080p 60 1080p 30 etc and uh, you have uh, stabilization which is really cool with the Zion Smooth Q2 it's very small um, you can basically just uh, keep the setup in your pocket you don't even have to disassemble the phone uh, from the gimbal so it's really, really convenient. Um, for sound, I'm using a ceramonic microphone and it plugs right into the phone simply because it has a headphone jack and uh, you can uh, point it into any direction you want. Um, you can do so while the phone is uh, in the gimbal and the gimbal is turned on so you don't uh, get it out of balance at all. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I think the quality is really good. I'm going to show you some sample footage and uh, besides what you're looking at right now and yeah I think this is probably the best travel setup you can come up with right now. So let me show you some more footage. Okay so that is me just walking around um, without trying to be you know particularly smooth, no ninja walk, anything like that. Just normal walking down the street. As you can see, I think the footage is really stable. Um, let's do some running. Uh, let's run now. So I think stabilization still works very well. Uh, let me show you how it looks for selfies. All right, now we have the main camera flipped to the front. So like I said earlier, no loss in image quality. And let me show you the stabilization with the Zion Smooth Q2 when you're running. So I think it works really well. The gimbal is really light. So it's also very, very, you know, helpful in day-to-day -day filming. Uh, you can film with this gimbal for, I think, 16 hours. Um, you can also charge the phone uh, through the gimbal, but the... The good thing about the Zenfone 6 is it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so I don't think you will run out of juice with, you know, with either device, so that's really good. Um, what else? I heard uh, complaints online about the uh, crop factor when you uh, use the electronic image stabilization of the phone. So the good thing about this gimbal is that since the gimbal is stabilizing uh, this phone, you can turn off the electronic stabilization from the phone itself. So you have a you know really wide field of view, so it doesn't crop in at all, which was the complaint. You would have to hold out your arm really far just to get yourself in the shot. So you have no problem with this setup doing that. And uh, yeah, I mean, really can't come up with any negative. So I think this right here is you know right now I would say probably the best travel setup. Uh, I don't know any camera. I mean, there's some phones where you can uh, use the main camera as a front camera. I think the Samsung A80, A I believe. The problem with that is once you switch to uh, the selfie mode, for some reason they disabled 4K. Um, there's also the Nubia Z20 smartphone, uh, which has a display in the back. So basically, you use the back display as your viewfinder using the main cameras um, as your selfie cameras. Same problem as with the Samsung. The uh, image quality is capped, I think, to 1080p. So yeah, the Zenfone 6 right now is the only phone that really has no compromises, whether you film to the back or to the front with it. So couple that with the Zion Smooth Q2 and a tiny microphone like the Ceremonic, or you can go even further if you want, uh, get a uh, Rode Wireless Go if you want. But uh, this right here is perfect. So. Let me know if you guys have any any questions. Uh, I think I covered everything I could talk about with this setup. I've had it for about two weeks. Uh, the phone was out of stock for a long time. I finally got the 
US version, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, since I'm going to do a lot of 4K filming with this. And uh, yeah, let me guys know what you think. What do you think about the quality? Would you use this yourself or do you have a better server? Let, let me know about that. Um, well, cause I think right now this is the best. So, all right guys, thanks for watching and talk to you later.